bright duty every student matters now let's look at the first question why do we often sneeze when we inhale uh, a lot of dust laden air so whenever we inhale a lot of lot of dust laden air what happens is that our nose here are not able to capture or trap all the dust that is present in the environment around us so in this case what happens is that this dust laden air enters our nasal cavity and what it does it it irritates the nasal cavity and because of this irritation in the nasal cavity we often sneeze so that we can remove the dust particles right so basically what we want to do is the uh, we want to remove the dust that has entered the nasal cavity right now let's move on and answer another question whenever we feel drowsy or sleepy we start yawning does yawning help us in any way definitely whenever we are feeling drowsy or sleepy that means that we are low on energy and in the previous session we had talked talked about that how uh, you know in, when we want to increase the amount of energy in the body we need to increase the amount of oxygen that we take in right so yawning means taking a deep breath right it is associated with a deep breath and deep breath is associated with more oxygen right so over here what we are trying to do is that when we are yawning we are taking in more oxygen and this oxygen in turn helps us uh, to feel a little more energized right it provides us a little more energy and that's why it helps us when we yawn right state the name of wind pipe so wind pipe is also known as is also known as trachea how do we breathe now this is a process which is involves two uh, basic steps first is inhalation and other is exhalation so in inhalation and exhalation both we see that there is an involvement of ribs and diaphragm ribs and diaphragm right so inhalation and exhalation these are the two processes that are involved or two steps that are involved in breathing what happens in inhalation is that the ribs right they move out ribs move out and diaphragm moves downwards now this happens uh, so that the uh, you know the space in the chest cavity increases right so this increases the chest cavity right so when the space in the chest cavity increases what happens is that the air that is present around us rushes in to our lungs through the nostrils right when exhalation happens ribs and diaphragm both return to their original position right what happens return to original position right and because of this what happens is that the uh, space in the chest cavity decreases and the air is pushed out and this is the process of exhalation so in this way we see how inhalation and exhalation uh, uh, takes place and this is how we breathe why should we cover our nose while sneezing so while sneezing it is important to cover our nose so that the viruses or the bacteria that are present in our body are not transmitted to a healthy person suppose if we are suffering from common cold we should always cover our uh, face while sneezing so that the virus that is present in our body is not not transferred to a healthy person right what is the percent of oxygen that is inhale that is present in the inhaled air so inhaled air is the air that is present in general in the atmosphere and in that the percentage of oxygen is 21% when we exhale percentage of certain gas is high name the gas so when we are exhaling the gas that has increased in the percentage is co2 that is it has increased 0.04 uh, percent to 4.4 percent 
In the experiment where we exhaled into lime water containing glass, what changes were observed by you? So the change that uh, was observed was that the lime water turned milky. Lime water turned milky because of CO2. Right? 